What should I do today? I know! To the build cave! What should I build today? All these options, what should I do? <gasps> I know. To the building grounds. What's going on guys? Dallas here in today's Minecraft video. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build a working jail cell in Minecraft. So, uh, should be easy. I ought to make a jail cell open and close, so, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna build it right here. This is like part one or something to it. There's gonna be a full on jail cell, like a full on jail here in the future, but I'm just gonna build a single jail cell and show you guys how to make it. And then I'm gonna build the whole entire building. Well, in an upcoming episode. So, let's get started. I'll show you guys what you will need. Alright, so this is what you're gonna need for building it. You're gonna need a piston, well, st two sticky pistons, one lever, one repeater, Preferably five redstone dust, some stone bricks, uh, definitely two iron bars, more like five you're going to need, and polish andersite. So we're going to start building it. So we're going to build the frame of it. I'm going to make it a 10 by 10 gel cell, so let's make it a 10 by 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pretty big, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then just close it off. So it's a 9x9 inside of the jail cell, but it's a 10x10 10 10 on the outside. So, we're going to come in like this. There we go. And now go up by, uh, go up by 2 by here. So, 1, 2. Then come over here and do the same. 1, 2. Then come over here and do 1, 2. Then 1, 2. So now you got to figure out, so where is your entrance? Want, where do you want your entrance? So we're going to put our entrance right here. So we're going to remove this one and this brick right here. So this is going to be our entrance. So what we're going to do is fill in all these spots except for places where we're going to put iron bars. We're going to put iron bars right here. So three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then right here, so this is an entrance, we're going to go we're gonna go three, but it's gonna be two and two, and then you get your area where you cut it out, and then three right here. And now you're gonna wanna cover it up like this with uh, the bricks. And also, if you're doing, if, if you're gonna be playing with some people and you don't want them to escape and they don't like role playing or just playing like they're in jail and at a stand jail, you can make this whole thing out of obsidian and they can't escape. Well, unless they spend hours just sitting there with their fist breaking it. So now what you want to do is get your pistons and go right here. Put your two pistons right here facing this way. Get your two iron bars, put them like this. Grab some polish and the site, break underneath it and do that. Now you grab your brick, you're going to like this, get a repeater. And then you come this way, put some redstone down. And now you're going to cover it up so they can't, oh, you, you want that zero ticks. You want them to not see it. So this is going to be like the corner jail cell, not the main one. If it was the main one, it would go straight. But since this is going to be the corner of the jail, it's going to be right here. So we're just going to cover this all up like this. So now in theory, when you grab your lever, it should push the block. But you have to have like a block right here for it to connect all the way. So it should look like that. You're going to want to do that. Cover it up. Now let's grab your pan polish and site and just fill in the floors. Sorry that's really loud, I forgot to change it. There we go, now we got our floor for the wardens to walk on. And now the reason you put a lever here behind the wall now in real life, you don't have to worry about it, but in the game, you don't have to worry about it, but in IRL, well, real life, if the prisoner somehow got an object to reach over and pull the lever down, 
If this wasn't here, they could probably do it. But since we put that there, we don't have to worry about it. So, just leave her up and go in. We're going to cover this up with wood, white bricks. So like that. There's going to be nothing on this wall, so no one can see it. So, go like this. Block it all up. Now we got the area right here, so you can open. I mean, you can open and close. So now you want to fill in this whole entire floor with polished andersite. So, so you want to fill this all in. Because after we get done filling this in, we're going to put the roof on, add some lighting, and then add the beds in the bathroom so that the prisoners can use the restroom. So now we got like that. There we go. So now we got the floors done. Now time for the roof. You're just going to come over here with your bricks and do the same exact thing. To cover it up. You can use andersite, but any polished andersite. But I'm just gonna use bricks. It all comes down to your personal preference. I want to use bricks because uh, it's just bricks. I'm gonna go like this. There we go. And now we have a fully working jail cell for keeping the prisoners locked up. Now the one thing you can do is now we gotta add the stuff so they can stay in here. So I'm going to get some beds and stuff to make it all right. For this one, you're going to need one stone button, two quartz stairs, one quartz block, and then one iron trap door, a light gray bed, a cauldron, and a bucket of water. So for this, you're going to put your, you're going to put beds right here for the prisoners. Well, actually, the prisoners sleep like this. Actually, let's go like this. The prisoners sleep like this. So now we got our prisoners set up like this. We are going to put a cauldron right here with water. And now right here we're gonna put a toilet. So I'm gonna break down this wall so I can properly do it. So we're gonna need to put one like here. And then we're gonna come out, put one here. Get ourselves our stone bricks I just broke and put them back down. Go back in there, put the toilet seat down, bun, toilet seat. And this is the bathroom. Well, the bed. Well, the room where they stay. So you got six prisoners. They got to share one toilet. Oh, I thought I could glitch it. Nope. So you get your toilet and your sink. You could put a lever down, but it might matter. But you don't have to worry about them escaping because you can't put a button down and then break it. Because the redstone went left, so they can't really activate it. Even if they were to put it here, they can't activate it, even with the lever. So yeah, this is pretty much a working jail cell. I it did take quicker than I thought it would be. But the one thing that I'm going to do is add like the edges so it's actually looks like a proper box instead of like a house. Because you don't want that happening. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. I forgot the lights. It needs lights in there. So this time, when we put the lights down, I'm going to put normal torches down because why not? Well... In real life, that's a bad idea. So, we're gonna grab some torches. We got our torches. We're just gonna place them in the corners because we don't want mobs spawning in here. And there we go. Put two right here. And of course, all prisoners have a painting. I don't want them to play Donkey Kong while they're gone. <laughs> well, while I'm gone. So, we're gonna have to do this. You can use any block you want to get this. And it could be like a creeper looking through a window at them. There we go. So yeah, this is the working prison. You know, if I was to... I can't seem to lock myself in here. Okay. No, I don't want that. Here we go. We're going to try this again. Didn't work. So, here I'm going to break into the ceiling. This is what it looked like when you're locked in here. You got the iron bars. You're going to be putting a... What's a game mode called? Adventure, so you can't break out. You got the ceiling pretty good you can't escape whatever you try to do so this is a, this is a quicker video because 
I normally do massive builds like over there I did that build massive beach and the houses so yeah I do some pretty massive builds it's pretty nice coming to smaller builds and not having to build massive things so I hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you guys did let me know what you guys want to see next if you want to get your comment featured in the next video let me know what you want to see next I keep on having I keep on forgetting about that so I have to keep on saying it so if you guys want to get your comment featured in the next video tell me what you want me to do and I hope to see y'all next time bye